Hey everyone, um, instead of an intro moment for this video, I just wanted to hop in and apologize for the video going up so late. Uh, I rushed my recording and forgot to clap and so I could set my sound and video up and sync. So I've been messing with that for about a week and I still can't get it lined up and I really don't want to reshoot the video because, you know, I'm not in the same mindset it was at the time and everything, so it's going to be different to talk about it. So I just want to hop in and apologize for it coming up late and apologize that the sound is a little off. I debated cutting off my face cam and everything, but I decided to just leave it in. It's really small anyway, and I'm hoping people are focusing more on the gameplay than my face. So it shouldn't be a big issue, but hopefully I don't forget to clap for now on to be able to set, um, sync up my sound and video. Um, thank you all for understanding. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey y'all, how's it going? Um, this recording might seem to rush. I'm trying to get it done really quick so I can, uh, get it edited and get it ready to go up before I go to work in the morning. Yeah, I fell a little bit behind on editing and stuff this week just because I've been trying to put in a lot of hours at work and I've been walking a lot and stuff. So I'm gonna get a little bit done in this level. Try to make the video at least like 10 minutes long. I hope to keep it to where I don't cut a lot out so it'll make it a lot easier to edit. Um, I did uh, choose a topic while I was working this week. I made a few little um, voice recording notes just to say what I wanted to talk about and stuff because it was something that came up during the week and it seems like something I should talk about since it was something that was recently going on. Um, so I want to be able to talk about that a little bit. It's, it's kind of like how you should handle handle it when your friend or somebody you know something is going through anxiety and depression and stuff and it's kind of like a well you don't need to pity them and you do need to keep in mind what they're going through and how their mind works and how they'll how they will take things that you say because even if you're like just joking around or something some of the things you can say joking and stuff the person could, with anxiety and depression and stuff, they could really believe that about themselves. So you're just reaffirming it to them and reaffirming what they already feel. So it can just make things worse. So even if you're just joking with them, and even if that person knows you're joking, part of them will take it seriously and take it to heart. I just want to hop in and say this is my last cut of the video. Um, I want to hurry up and get the video out since I'm already over a week late from when I wanted to do it. There was a lot of stuff in the rest of the video I wanna, wanted to cut out, but it was just taking too long to get through it all. So I wanted to apologize for how, how anxious I seemed in the rest of the video. And um, I wanted to, I wanna, um, wanted to see if y'all would be okay with me keeping this series to releasing it more of when I feel like I have a topic that I'm ready to post for this video since this series is supposed to be more about speaking on a certain topic and talking about certain issues with mental health um so i want to get some type of schedule with it but put trying to push it weekly i feel like i was pushing myself too hard with this series i will still be posting videos weekly i have other series going on so i'll keep those coming up and i'll try to get y'all a schedule of what i plan on doing with this i just don't think trying to push it to come out every friday without a comfortable topic every time is the best idea. I don't think it's I'm gonna be able to get my point across as much if I repeat the same thing over and over again for 15 minutes instead of going more in depth on the topic and everything. So I hope you guys understand. We do know that we're doing things that are annoying to some people or some people might be found weird or whatever. Just because how we counteract the, the anxiety that we're feeling or depression we're feeling or it's a side effect of those things. Um, but by picking on people and stuff because of it or by pointing those things out, it just makes those things worse. 
It just heightens the feeling of anxiety and depression that we're already feeling. So instead of making fun of it or laughing at it, um, you, sh you should uh, talk to the person about it. Try to help that person figure out ways to better themselves. Try to help them recognize when they're doing something so that they can stop doing those things. Because we, we want to get better. It's not like we want to keep being that way and we want to keep going through those things. And we want to keep acting the way we do just because of... If it's just because of anxiety or whatever. So if you're if you're just sitting there picking on somebody for how they react to their anxiety or depression, the stuff that comes from it, you're just causing it all to get worse. It, it it's just gonna snowball. And I like um. Uh, I get, like, a lot of the ways that I deal with my depression and my anxiety especially can get on people's nerves, especially, like, if I'm drinking, I kind of go in the opposite direction because of my anxiety and depression. I, all the things that I feel, like the loneliness I want to, or the fact that I don't really have any friends, I try to do stuff to, like, counteract those things. I go the complete opposite direction of what I do when I'm sober because the walls kind of go down. But I still have the anxiety and depression. That doesn't go away just because I'm drunk. It's just the way I deal with it slightly different. And then it gets on people's nerves, and I know. And I, d I get anxiety about it knowing what I'm doing, but it's it's hard to deal with it. And I don't, I don't expect people to accept that, but I do. It's nice that if people understand. So, yeah, I just want to talk about, like, how you can help people that are going through something like that instead of making it worse. It's like, it, it's something, people with anxiety and depression, it's not something that happens sometimes. It's like sometimes your anxiety shows up, sometimes your depression shows up. It's something you're going through every day. It's a constant battle inside your head. You're constantly fighting. Const it's a, it's very exhausting. And the more people like pick on it and make fun of it or whatever, make memes out of it or talk behind your back to other people about it or whatever, it just it just pulls you down. And the worse it gets, the harder it is to like pull yourself back up from it. All I ask is if you if you feel like making fun of somebody or picking on somebody because of something you're going through mentally, they're going through mentally, take a step back and instead of saying the words that you were thinking of saying, instead of calling them weird or something, instead of bullying them, ask them how you can help. Reach out to them. Help pull them up instead of pushing them back at out. Because every, every little bit that we climb out of that hole that we're in, it takes a lot of effort. So when we get pushed down, back down, it just makes it so much harder. And it's like, that's why you can do it with, it's not just, it's not just people that you don't, people that don't like people doing this. It's not just bullying people that, just bullying people to bully people or whatever. Okay, why can't I do this? Okay. It's, it's might be like the way you pick on your friend. It might be something you pick on them about. And when you do poke fun or whatever, you have to be aware of what, how that might affect the person. Because even if we do know you're just joking and you don't really mean it, we could really believe it ourselves, like I said before. And it really, it'll, it'll really stick with us. And it's something, especially with me, it's something I think about a lot. And a lot of people will say, oh, you need thicker skin or whatever. And, whatever like you need to get through it it's just a joke and it's like i understand it's just a joke but with the way my mind takes it it doesn't fully pr like i'm cognizant of the fact but i don't it's hard to be fully get my mind to follow what i what i actually know it's like people people will call you weak because your skin's thin or whatever and i was like 
I would argue that it's, it's pretty strong to be able to live with with what we go through every day. We keep fighting constantly and still achieving and still getting out of bed. It, the fact that we get anything done with how much effort it takes to just get out of bed is some, some days just shows how strong that somebody going through anxiety and depression actually is. And while at times I do feel weak, when I do think about it and I look, look upon everything, I start to realize like how uh, how actually strong I am because of it. And what I'm getting at with uh, poking fun about people, about what they're doing, or like, I understand getting upset about it because obviously you're going to get upset if somebody's really annoying or something, but it doesn't always, there's other ways to deal with that. It's like, I'm hyper aware of everything that I'm doing. Um, I, I realize whatever I'm doing wrong, even if I'm doing something right, I second guess it. I third, I third and fourth guess it. Every single thing I do. And I'll, I'll relive stuff for years and years after thinking about what I could have done differently. And the person I was probably talking to or that knows about it, probably doesn't even remember who I am, but I'm still thinking about those things. I still think about things from when I was in like third grade and what I could have done differently. So I'm aware and I'm trying to get better at it. And all I ask is instead of like making fun of me before it or something, just even if you don't want to reach out a hand to help, just please try to be aware. And it sucks because, and it makes it so much worse when people do that. Because I, I, I want everybody to like me, and I, I know not every. There's no way to make everybody like you, but every time somebody doesn't like me, it, it really affects me and it bothers me. And I want, I try to change something about who I am, just to make that person like me. Which I understand doing that will probably make somebody else not like me, but it's just the way my brain works. I want. I, I, I get anxiety just thinking somebody might not like me. So when somebody makes fun of me or something, even if they're doing it in a friendly way, part of me is like that person doesn't like me. Sorry, I'm trying to think about which jiggies I want to get. Because I want to make this episode, what, like 10 minutes should be good? I'm actually a decent way into this, um, and I know I didn't talk a, m a lot about the topic, but I think I got my main points off. Basically what I'm saying with all that stuff though is, I'm not saying accept it, but I'm saying the way that you should bring it up to somebody should be different than just making fun of them for it or laughing at them. As somebody who grew up being bullied a lot, I don't really get bullied anymore, I was about to say I still do, but no. But uh, somebody, as somebody who grew up being bullied a lot, every little bit, like, stuff will make me think of when I used to get bullied and picked on and stuff. And so, it all, it all just goes back to as I said, it just makes everything worse. It doesn't help. There are ways to say, hey, like, this was kind of weird. You shouldn't do that or something without, like, making fun of the person. You got to bring it up differently. Which other jiggy should I do? I know. Actually, I might not get any more jiggies just because... Oh, no, I'm going gonna... I'm to get the one at the very top. But I'm gonna try to get three episodes out of this world. But it's just something that came to mind recently. It's, it's really hard. Just because everything I do, I wonder how a person takes it. Everything I say, I wonder how people take it. Even when I'm doing this and I post a video, I wonder how everybody reacts to it. And I want them all to like me and everybody to like what I'm saying and not judge me for what I'm saying and to not think that I'm trying to get pity from them or make them feel bad or whatever 
because I'm really just trying to help people, and it's also helping me to get the stuff off my chest, but it's, it's so much about, like, caring, into caring what other people think. So those little words that you do picking on somebody or something can, can be what sends them over the edge. Even if you don't mean it, because that person probably, there's a good chance if that person has really bad anxiety or depression, they probably think whatever it is about themselves already. I get the ginger one up here. So when you do that, it's, it's kind of confirming what they already think. Even if part of them does real, like I said before, if part of them does realize what you're saying is you're joking, part of them is going to be like, ha ha ha, but it's true. So, that's all I really want to talk about today. As I said, I wanted to make the episode a little shorter so I could knock out my, uh, I need to make sure I save state. No, I don't want to save that way. I want to save state, because if I save that way, it kicks me out the level. I meant to do this at the bit beginning of the video, but uh, please make sure you drop a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, maybe. I want to know if y'all like the new circle face cam or not. I'm just, I'm, let me know what I can do differently. Whatever, because comments, likes, and views all really help the algorithm and help YouTube push videos. And the, the more they push it, the more people this stuff can reach and the more people it could help. As usual, um, in the description box, on the top of the description box below will be the link to where the charity. Please give something if you can. It really does go a long way to helping people that are suffering. Um, it's also in the bottom of the layout, as you know. Uh, also down there is my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter for updates about videos. When I'm posting videos, I also talk to people about whatever they're going through, and I post about what I'm going through, so you can keep up to date about everything that's going on. And I'll, I'll, I'll post stuff on there that I don't even talk to people about. It's just I'll be laying in bed at night, and it's what I'm thinking, or I'll be at work, and it's what I'm thinking. Also is my Patreon. If you want to become a member on my Patreon, there's a lot of perks. Um, it, it'll help support me to be able to keep doing this. Uh, and a link to my Twitch. I haven't been streaming on there lately. I'm trying to get a good schedule of working, making sure I get my videos edited and stuff. I want to get a few Twitch streams in a week. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, I think that's all that's say. I'm good and wrapped up. But uh, yeah, please, please make sure you hit that like button. And I love you all. I really hope to see y'all back here next time. Thank you for staying to the end of the video.